Hi, I'm Rich Nipple with Encore RV, and I'm here to show you our brand new 14 RKB. This is the newest offering in a ROG Adventure trailer line. It's kind of an extension of the 12 RK. This is going to be uh, 27 inches longer and 6 inches taller than our standard 12 RK. This is shown with the Survival Series. Uh, you can buy this in the base model as well. We'll kind of go over some of the differences between the two. Um, what's really exciting about this, this is the first trailer that we've built that offers a rear bathroom. And we're going to get to that in a minute. I know you're going to want to see it, but let's just start at the front. Up front, you've got uh, exterior storage. This is going to be 10 cubic feet of storage inside of here. It's perfect for bag chairs and things like that. And what's really nice is your battery storage is right below here. And this will hold three 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Uh, in our trailers, you either have to use an AGM battery or lithium. But this is a climate, or climate controlled environment in here. So if it's warm enough to camp, it's going to be warm enough in your battery compartment. As you may or may not know, lithium batteries tend to have problems in really cold temperatures. So it's really important for them to be in a controlled environment, which we've done. Uh, inside, you're going to have a motion light. So that goes on automatically uh, when you open up the compartment, providing a little bit of light so you can see everything. This will be your entry door, but we're going to check that out in a little bit. Walking back on this particular unit, one of the features you're going to see that's in the Survival Series is the quarter-inch aluminum plate fenders. They're not steel, so they're never going to rust, but they are really strong. These are, uh, you can step on these to access stuff on the roof, do whatever you need to. They really are strong. Uh, we've got a 235-75 R15 tire on this with a black wheel. You can also upgrade to our timber and suspension. It's available in our Overland package, which will give you an articulating hitch and the timber and suspension. Really smooths out that ride and has a built-in four-inch lift, so you get a little bit more ground clearance. <clears throat> One thing you can never miss on these trailers is our roof rack. This particular roof rack is going to have four crossbars. You're going to see a lot of ways to mount stuff here. We've got a lot of aftermarket accessories that you can buy, and some of them are included in the Survival Series, and we'll show that to you here in a minute. But on the roof rack, each one of the crossbars has a dynamic rating of 100 pounds. What's really nice about that is if you want to add a rooftop tent, put your kayaks, bicycles, stand-up paddle boards, canoes, whatever, you can put it up on the roof. It's not a problem. And to access the roof, I'll show you, we've got a ladder that goes up to it on the other side. But it is a walk-on roof, which is really nice. Uh, on this particular one, we've got a uh, OVS 270 awning. I'm going to show you how that works a little bit later but we have uh, several different uh, awning options. There's a straight awning that comes out off the front, or I'm sorry, off the back and the side, or this 270, which I think you guys are gonna really like. <clears throat> but some of the big differences are right here. Um, this is uh, a part of the kitchen, and this is gonna be where you're gonna have uh, twin 1.7 cubic 12 volt refrigerator set up French door style. Gives you plenty of storage. There's a small freezer compartment in each one of these. Uh, and then just off to the left, you're going to see a very large pantry. There is a light in here so you can see at night. Um, this is going to be where a lot of the cooking is done. This is going to be your 26-inch griddle. It comes with a table that mounts right to the side. you got a little utensil holder right here. It's got a built-in bottle opener and a couple areas to hang some uh, utensils for cooking. But it's a really nice two-burner uh, griddle. This is where you're cooking chicken, burgers, hot dogs breakfast in the morning, keeps everything outside where you want to be when you're camping. We're going to take a look around the back side here in just a second. Still back at the curbside corner, and one thing I didn't tell you about is on every one of the ROGs, you're going to get 12 volt power ports on all four corners. What's really great about that is it's a quick SAE connection. Anything that's 12 volt, you can go ahead and wire it into a, one of the connectors that's provided, and then just plugs in right here. These are wired through the frame up to a switch. Each corner is controlled by its own switch. On the Survival Series, you're also going to pick up a couple pod lights, one on each side. This is great if you really want to aim this down and uh, be able to see your cooking really well. But as we swing back around, this is kind of where the kitchen continues, and this is really cool. Uh, you're going to have a slide-out rear kitchen right here, and it sets up real quick. I mean, it's going to be just this quick. The uh, Two burner stove has cast iron grates. Uh, we don't do the wire grates. We don't think they look as good. They're not as durable. We're trying to put a lot of high end stuff here. This sink just flips up like that. Uh, and you've got water. <clears throat> you've got plenty of storage down below. Uh, and you're going to have all of your electronics right here. So your main lights will be right here. And that's going to control this light here. Your porch light is right there. And this can be amber or white, which is really nice. 
Your 12 volt refrigerators are powered right here. This is for your water pump, so the pump's on, and this will tell you how much water is in the tank. This particular one is full right now, as you can see, the lights are all the way up. Um, coming around this side, this is what uh, makes the 12 RKB the 12 RKB, uh, and this is the rear bathroom. So let's open this up and let you get a look at it. I'll flip on a couple lights so you can see what's going on in there. Swing up here and take a look, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this. Um, What's really cool about this is it's got an aluminum shower pan. We have put a sea deck mat in the bottom that uh, keeps you so you're not slipping around. It's got an aluminum cabinet. Uh, it's got a faucet inside with uh, solid surface countertops and a recessed bowl. It's got an accented rear gray wall. It's kind of hard to pick up in the, on the uh, camera there, but it is. You've got a shower, a Thetford cassette toilet. You're going to have a vent in the back. And what's really cool about that is it's a two speed climate control system you can put it on high or on low, and what that's gonna do is pull air from the cabin into here, either colder air or warm air, so it's climate controlled. Um, <clears throat> over here, you're gonna have your hot water heater, and this is a portable on-demand hot water heater. That is removed and put on the outside, and I'm gonna show you that a little bit later as well and how it's hooked up to provide hot water to the whole system. Just around the corner here, and you can't see it, but you're gonna have a shampoo holder, and uh, we'll shoot some video of that and include it in here. You'll also have a toilet paper holder, which is waterproof. And what's great is right over here too, you've got dry storage. So if you wanted to put some towels in, they, they go right in behind this deck hatch and uh, provide a nice dry environment for the things that you need to keep dry, whether it be toilet paper or whatever. Um, down below, you got a little bit of storage in here as well, if you take a look, and access to your plumbing. Uh, but that's one of our aluminum cabinets, and uh, there's some storage in there. Now, that won't necessarily stay completely dry. The drain is to the back, so if you're pitched about an inch low in the trailer, all the water will go there, and it'll exit the trailer. Um, <clears throat> another thing that we've included in here, so you've got uh, a porch light on the back. So you've got a porch light over this, and that can be amber or white. Your main lights, your accent lights, and climate control, and then a USB. And we included that in there for a weird reason, but if you've got a cooler, an electric cooler, and you want to store it in the back of this trailer, you set it right here. There's two tie downs that'll be on each, one on each side. They're not in this particular unit. This is a prototype, but they will be included in the unit you buy. And uh, that will hold your cooler down securely. It puts more weight to the back of the trailer, which is what you're trying to do, alleviating tongue weight, allowing you to distribute the weight the way you want. And then you can take that 12 volt cooler and plug it right in here and keep everything cold while you're on your way for additional freezer storage or refrigeration storage. There's a two inch receiver on the back here. This step is not included, although we do like this one because you can put it in and then offset it. But uh, what happens here is it just gives you an ability to, to be able to step in a little bit easier and you would pick the step that you like. And I'll, I'll jump in here real quick just to show you. There's plenty of room. Um, you've got a skylight, so I'm sitting completely upright and there's a skylight in here. Uh, it really uh, does a great job. I got to tell you, I, I, it's, it's fine. It's big enough. You're an adventure camper. You're probably not too worried about having something huge, but you could shower in here. You can also shower outside with the hot water heater, whatever you like. One thing too, I didn't tell you is the toilet will spin. So your legs aren't necessarily going to be into there. I think we've really designed this nicely. Uh, it, it, uh, it doesn't feel small at all. It's, uh, it's going to get the job done. If you need to get in and use the restroom, you don't have uh, facilities around you, or if you need to take a quick shower and wash off. Uh, this, there's a gas strut on the door. There'll be a blind right here, a cover, and this is a vented window. Uh, so you can open this up and then there's a, a max air fan up in the corner and it will pull air across the room to keep moisture out and to keep it ventilated, which is really nice. We're gonna swing around to this side of the trailer here and I'll show you a few more features. Um, this is an option on the trailer uh, that's included with the Survival Series package. This is a ladder that we build. It is very robust. This is not your just everyday RV ladder and you'll kind of see, I'm not a small guy, but uh, I can move around on this thing as much as I want. Climb up on this entire trailer. It's got a walk on roof. I mean, it's really strong. It's able to do a whole lot of stuff for you. And I'll uh, join you downstairs in just a second. I'm back down on the roof. As you saw, it is a full walk-on roof. One thing I'll mention to that is a fiberglass roof. This is something you typically see in a very high-end, half-million-dollar motor coach. 
It's something we include on all of our products because we're trying to build the strongest possible trailer, have no leaks in it whatsoever. But if you did have a leak, which you're not going to, there's no wood in here to rot, no wood in this trailer at all that could mildew or mold or anything like that. It's a completely 100% wood-free trailer and it's got an all aluminum frame. So there's not gonna be any rust to go along with that either. And we'll talk a little bit more about that a little later. But uh, as we continue on just past the ladder, this is where your cassette toilet will empty. And this opens up and then this just pulls right out. And uh, you just take this over somewhere and you can dump it. If it's full and it's a little heavy, it's got, uh, it's got some wheels and you can roll it down, but you can empty this in a porta potty at the uh, bathrooms, at the campground, wherever you need to. Once it's emptied, it's nice and clean. It's not going to get on you. You're not really forced to go to a dump station, which is nice. Uh, it'll just slide right back in, just like this. And when it does, that's what opens it back up so that it'll work. There's no filling this cassette toilet. This is actually plumbed into the 43 gallon fresh water tank. You heard me right, 43 gallons of water. Uh, that's just gonna pull right from there. So you're not having to fill that like a lot of the cassette toilets that are out there. Moving down a little bit, you're gonna see this is where your uh, city water hookup and fresh water fill are. This is going to be your spray port. So the cold water from the tank comes out. And if you have your hot water heater out here connected up, and I'll show you again that later, uh, that will go in and feed the hot water back into the trailer, which will feed the sink in the bathroom, the sink in the kitchen, and uh, the shower as well. Uh, looking down, you're going to see a few more features that we've got here that come with the uh, Survival Series. You're going to have a 28-inch axe and an 18-inch axe. One's a splitting, one's a chopping. That way you can cut stuff down and split the wood. Moving forward, you're going to see one of our Overland shovels that's included. Everything is held on with quick, uh, quick fist grips. They're really easy to use. They hold things real secure. You just put them on there like that. Nobody's going to steal these because they're locked on and all the keys match on these uh, master locks, but that's an easy way to secure these things to the trailer so nobody's messing with them. This is another example of some of the brackets that we offer, and we've got a whole slew of those that we offer for different things that you may want to connect or put up there, whether it be your own awning, um, a shower awning, or anything like that. Uh, we've got the ability for you to put your accessories on this trailer. You've got doors on both sides. What's unique or great about that is that when you're sleeping in the trailer, you don't have to climb over anybody to get to that side. You can come out here and they've got their own porch light here, which again will be amber or white, uh, whichever you need. One of the things I didn't point out, and I'll just jump back over here, you do have your LP quick connect and that's gonna be for your hot water heater, but I'm showing it with this. This is something you would supply yourself but this is a 21 gallon uh, holding tank and that's where your shower will drain into so that you can take it off site and dump it. You can also connect the hose and take it off, off uh, site. It just depends where you're camping, if that's allowed or not, but uh, it is just gonna be, um, it's not black water, it's just gray water. But this makes it real nice uh, so that you can uh, collect it and then move it. Um, we'll go ahead and come up here and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the electrical. This is your second pod light here, and these can be moved wherever you want. You can move it to the back and aim it. They kind of go uh, whichever way you want. This one's on there kind of tight right now. Um, but this is, your, this is all of your electrical, all in one spot. It's nice and easy to use, your 30 amp shore cord. This is your solar prep. Um, this particular trailer is equipped with our power up package, which we can talk about a little bit later. But that does include a 200 watt solar blanket but you'll just connect that and then the solar power will uh, charge the battery automatically. And this is going to be your TV satellite and cable. So if you're somewhere where you can hook up your antenna, which uh, this particular trailer comes with a high def antenna that mounts right up here on these buttons real quick. The cable comes down and plugs in really nice. It's uh, one less thing that we mount to the roof where we're putting a hole in the roof. So we make it mount right there. Um, Look at here, this is going to be your furnace. Uh, this has a 16,000 BTU furnace, and that's the vent for that. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at the front of the trailer, and then we're going to jump inside and show you what's in the trailer. Jump into the front of the trailer, we're going to go over a couple of the things. First and foremost, you're going to see we have a full-size spare tire and spare tire carrier. You've got a little bracket up or a rack up here. Now, I will tell you, this is one of the few things we do in steel, and it's necessary to build this in aluminum. It just wouldn't be able to support this going down the road. So this component here is steel, but again, it's all set to match. All of our patterns here are inch and are, are based on one and a half inch, and they just keep going. But all of our accessories are based on three inch. So you can flip them and turn them any way you want. It gives you a lot of versatility. You want to check that out. Our online store is coming very, very soon. I promise you that 
People have been asking for that for a long time because they want to see all of our accessories and what applies to the trailers they've got, but that'll be coming soon. You've got a 20 pound LP tank. Uh, this will come with a gauge on it. So this might not be the one that you want to just go in and, and uh, swap out for another one. You'd want to get this one filled because you can walk up and see uh, how much is in there. And it's not based on pressure. It's got a float level in it. So what you see is what you really have left. At the front, you're going to have a two inch coupler. Uh, this is a steel coupler mounted to our aluminum frame. You're going to have your safety chains. There's a breakaway wire and you're going to have a flip up jack that gets out of the way and uh, enables you to pull this thing. Um, again, I'm going to talk a little bit about this front fiberglass piece. This is the roof coming all the way down to the front where the stone guard is, which you have a little stone guard here to protect rocks from coming up and hitting and damaging the trailer. Uh, but this goes up and all the way to the back. And on the front of the wind, uh, the uh, roof rack there, you'll see that we have a windscreen. And that just kind of breaks the wind over and we put the iconic Encore logo in the corner of that. So that's the front of the trailer, the whole outside. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment, but let's go inside and see the inside of this trailer. You know, as nice as the outside is, everyone wants to see what's inside this trailer. And when you own one, that's what people do. They come up and go, whoa, what is this? I don't understand. But uh, I'll tell you, what we do, the premier part of this is going to be this futon mattress. It's really nice. It's got three positions. It's shown in the couch position right here, but it can go over to a recline position, which is really great for sitting back, relaxing, and watching TV. Or it does fold out to a true 60-inch by 80-inch queen bed. You'll notice it's 8 inches thick, so standard sheets fit on this no problem at all. It's firm, but that's what you're looking for. You don't want something that's too soft. Some of our customers who like a softer mattress will go ahead and throw a, a topper on this, a two or three inch topper, and uh, soften it up. But again, it fits no problem with the sheets. Looking at this side of the wall, uh, you've got a fire extinguisher for safety. You've got some bungee storage here that you can just throw some stuff behind the netting. You're going to notice that we use escape windows on both sides of this trailer. Not that you can't escape out your door if there was ever a problem, and hopefully there never will be. But what's beautiful about these is they tip out. And uh, if it's raining and you're forced to be inside and you don't want to be under your awning or the weather gets foul, you can open this up. Water's not going to come in from the rain and uh, you can still get a great circulation inside this thing so you're not feeling cooped up or hot or humid. And uh, with the Max Air Fan, and we'll talk about that here in a minute, that moves a tremendous amount of air through this trailer, either in or out. Um, Coming back to the very back corner, you'll see that's where our thermostat is for our 16,000 BTU LP uh, furnace. That's more heat than you could ever need, uh, but we want to make certain that when our customers are out uh, for season camping, and I mean truly, if you're out in the snow, uh, this is a really uh, a great system. You're not going to be short on heat at all. Um, each of the windows, too, will have a blind, uh, blackout blind, and they're, they're really nice, uh, high quality. They go up soft to close. Uh, across the back, you're going to see our aluminum cabinets. Again, we don't have any wood in this trailer, so that includes the cabinets. Uh, they're held up on gas struts. This is all eighth inch aluminum plating. It's uh, CNC laser cut, and it's going to be um, formed and then powder coated. Uh, all these are soft closed, so you just do this and they shut themselves. That's all three of them, so there's a lot of storage back there. Um, coming over here, you're going to see that there's an outlet on each side of the trailer, along with two USBs, and each one's got two chargers. These are uh, fast charge too. We didn't put the weak stuff in. We spent a little bit more money because I know people want to charge their stuff very fast. You're going to have a uh, reading light and that can either be white or blue. Uh, so you can use it as an accent and you can aim it wherever you'd like. And you'll see this is the vent right here. So that's what's pulling air from the cabin through a blower two speed into the bathroom. So whatever the temperature is here, it's going to equalize over there. You have access to your water tank just behind this. There's a panel that comes off that allows you to get inside. And then this year we added a, a quick removal uh, deck hatch that allows you to winterize this trailer without removing that hatch, which is really nice. Um, inside the trailer, uh, looking at this front wall, if you can kind of come across here just a little bit, you'll see some of our main switches. Um, and uh, just take my word for it, but what they are, you've got your main lights, uh, which will turn on. There's four LED lights in here, which a lot of people say is overkill, but when you need to find something, you need light to find it. Uh, but what's really cool is each of these lights can be turned off independently. Uh, so if you just wanted a little bit of light, you just keep one or two of them on. If you need full light, you keep them all on. Um, coming across, you're going to see we have cabin lights. So in your front storage here and across the back, there's going to be lights in here. So if you're looking for stuff, you've got the ability to find some light. Again, these are going to be soft clothes. Uh, look in here, you've got your porch light. That's going to be on this side. So that's going to be amber or white. Coming over here, you've got underglow lights. These are really cool. So what we have are amber lights underneath mounted into the frame. 
Uh, I think there's a couple in the back and three on each side. But what that does, it just throws a nice glow under the, underneath the trailer. So when you're at the campsite, uh, you don't have to worry about tripping on something and you don't have to have the lights out the trailer. It's not gonna pull bugs in. It's just enough light so that you can see it. Also gives you an opportunity to take some unbelievable pictures with an extended exposure um, because the trailer just likes it like it's glowing. But it's really nice for not tripping when you're getting in or out. Uh, over here, you're going to have another USB. We've got USBs all over the place, so you can charge there. And this is where your 12-volt power ports are. So this is what controls each one of those individually. Just below, it's going to be your JBL sound system. Um, we do like to use name brand equipment wherever we can. And JBL is a really reputable name, particularly in the RV industry. It is one of their premium products. But in this particular trailer, you're going to have uh, two JBL speakers up here. And that's on its own zone. And then outside, I didn't show you that, but you have a stereo, a mono speaker, but it's stereo. So the left and right feed into it. It is a stereo speaker. It is JBL. That's on zone two. They can be controlled individually. Uh, you can run them at the same time or, or, independ or independently. Um, this is going to be your GFI right here. Uh, this gives you a little outlet up front. And then you're going to have your 12-volt cutoff right here. I won't cut it off because we're, we're running power here. Um, this is an option. It used to be included in the survival series, but there were a lot of customers who said we don't really need a TV, but we do give you a TV. It's on a swivel mount, comes out, swivels just a little bit, but uh, it fits nicely into the aluminum cabinet that's recessed into the wall. And on the back side, you've got all of your connections uh, for your antenna, your HDMI, um, and your power. Uh, this is, uh, again, your two speakers, and this will be your vents for the heater, and that's your cold air return down here. Now what we're going to do is switch sides and uh, I'm going to show you the stuff that's on that side when we swing the camera around. Let's talk about what's over here. Uh, this is just stored in here right now, but this is a part of the survival series package. This is going to be a 200 watt solar blanket. So you can lay that out, hook it into that solar prep, bring in 200 watts of power that goes right to the battery, charging it on those sunny days. It'll even pull some power in uh, on those cloudy days. Another part of the survival series is going to be a, is going to be a first aid kit. So you're going to pick that up. It's kind of nice, uh, something you don't have to worry about. It's right there provided for you. Another bungee storage. And then just behind here, you're going to see that we've got an LP and carbon monoxide detector. Keeps things nice and safe for you. Um, up on the roof, you're going to see our optional 11,000 BTU low profile air conditioner by Dometic. Uh, that keeps things nice and cool in here. And again, that's far more power than you'd ever need, but uh, it's there in case you do. So really hot days, don't worry. You're going to stay cool inside. On the roof also, you'll see we've got a smoke detector. And then again, we've mentioned that, that uh, Max Air Fan. What I really like about this thing is it is the top of the line deluxe model they've got. So it pulls air in or out, whichever you want, multi-speed. So you can slow it down to a crawl where you can't hear it at all, or you can pick it up and you can throw business cards up there and it will suck them up to that screen. On the outside, the uh, cover is really cool because this will operate with the, in the rain with the cover open. Water won't come in. The way they've designed that cover is really unique. But again, that's really important. So on a, on a hot, humid day and you're inside, say you're off grid and you're not running your air conditioner, you can come in here, open that up and pull air either in or out and then also use your windows because uh, they're going to tip out and not be affected by the rain. I'm going to have her swing back around one more time. I'm going to show you a few things on this closet and we'll be right with you. Okay, one of the features that's included in the Power Up package, which this trailer is included with, is going to be, well, as I said, the 200 watt solar panel. It's going to come with a 100 amp hour lithium battery, two extra battery trays, and most importantly, this battery monitor. Uh, this is a Renogy 500 series battery monitor. It's going to tell you exactly how much power you've got remaining, so you're never guessing. So on this particular one, it's got 24 amp hours left, roughly 24% of that battery. And under the current draw, we could run 3.4 hours. We're putting it 12.8 volts and we're currently pulling out 7.2 amps. Anytime you turn something on or off, you'll see that either rise or fall. So, and then it's telling you how many watts that you're pulling also. So it's really nice for battery management and uh, really keeps you in the know so you don't end up finding yourself stranded. Now, I'm gonna step in here. This is the closet, and uh, it's pretty big. Uh, a lot of storage. You're gonna see we've got a lot of stuff in here, so I'll kind of go over it. But you've got your converter right here, and this is gonna be what supplies you with your 12-volt power when you're plugged into shore power. And it's also gonna have, and you're probably not gonna be able to see this, but it's got all of your 12-volt fuses and your 110 breakers in here. 
uh, but this is really nice. This works with a lithium battery as well. You're going to have a shelf in here and you're going to have access down here to the furnace. So if you ever had to do any repairs to it or anything like that, this panel will come out and give you easy access. I'd mentioned earlier, but this is your cold air intake for the furnace so that it can breathe. Uh, this is your high def antenna. This comes with it when you option in the television. As I said, it just kind of clips in and the cord plugs in. Um, you're going to get uh, the quick connect here. This is going to be for the stove uh, so that you can hook that up. You're going to get your 30 amp shore cord right here. It's going to include the spray port, which is going to come with it. So you just plug that into the cold water and this will provide outside cold water. Uh, a part of the survival series, you're going to pick up the survival series hacks book. This is always nice, good reading and uh, give you some trips, tricks of the trade. Uh, you're going to get a, um, a lifestyle straw. This is for drinking creek water. I don't know why you would need it, but we included it just in case you run out of water and got to survive out there. Um, kind of a novelty thing. Um, this is some of the stuff that comes with the particular awning that's on this one. And then you're going to get an information book packet here that's going to have all the uh, manuals and stuff for all the components in the trailer that are included. And that's just a good place to keep everything. So that's the inside of the uh, 12 RKB. We've shown you that. We're going to go over a couple more quick things. I'm going to show you some of the features on that OVS awning, and I'm going to show you how we hook up that hot water system. Okay, I told you I wanted to show you how this mattress sets up in the different configurations, and it's real easy to do. You slide it forward like this, drop it back, and there's your recliner position. And you can kind of change that in a few different ways depending on how you want to do it. But slide it back in, and you got a little recliner. If you want to go into the bed position, all you're going to do, lift her up like that, and you're in the bed position. And you can get in, make your sheets and everything. Um, real simple and easy to use. It's putting it away as almost as easy, actually probably easier. Slide that back. And then one of the things I showed you or told you about, but you couldn't really see it, was there's your hatch back here. If you kind of come up here, that's how you quickly remove that and you can do your winterization. So we've made it a lot easier, but you do have full access to everything back there. Uh, the tank can be removed really in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. The panel comes off. There's a cage that goes around it that supports it. It comes out. You just disconnect everything and pull it out. So everything's very serviceable inside this trailer. Now, one of the things I wanted to do was show you this 270 awning that's by OVS. This is something that we absolutely love here. All of our customers think the world of this thing. It provides a lot of coverage, and there's some accessories for it that are really nice. But uh, basically, you're just going to unzip the bag. And the nice thing about this is it is one person set up. Uh, so this goes up. You have to forgive me. We had a lot of rain. This will flip back over. You'll undo this, these straps here that hold the tent up, and just let it drop down. And what you're going to do is take this part here and walk it back all the way around. And I've got a strap right here that I keep handy. You're going to hook it right here, bring it over, step here. You just pull that back, throw your uh, excess up there, and you're going to do that so that's just sitting straight. So then you're going to come back to this side, and this is going to extend over the front. Again, I've got a strap right here, same thing. I just pick it up. Release this so I can get over to the other side. Hook it there. Hold on to that and pull this back. And I just throw the cable or the uh, excess strap over there. Then this piece here, you can tie it back if you like, but on this particular tray, we just let it hang. And as you can see, you've got coverage underneath here. And we do this all just in a few minutes. It's really not that hard. If it gets windy, you can take and drop the legs down.
and I think you'll be surprised at just how much wind this thing can handle. Uh, it comes with guy lines so that you can pull down, and they've set it up. They really thought this through. You're going to pull your guy lines down here, which puts just enough pressure here that the water will run off. You're not going to pool it and damage the, uh, the awning because uh, excess weight from water will damage them. But uh, the thing is absolutely amazing. It's got these zippers here where you can actually add in walls and cover this whole area. Um, so it's a great idea to get those. And if you want to, you can enclose this whole area here around the bathroom. Um, the entire kitchen, about the only thing you got to do if you've got the walls up is maybe drop your countertop extension to get around it. But the walls kind of come out at an angle. So there's a lot more room than just enclosing them straight off. But as you can see, we've made it so that the bathroom is still accessible. Again, because that wall is going to come out at this angle. You can get into the bathroom even while that wall is on and keep inclement weather off of you. And the walls are either available through OVS or we could supply those through our parts store. Um, that's your OVS Ani. It puts away almost as fast as it went together. Sometimes rolling it up and putting it back in the back can be a little bit of a challenge. It's not a big deal. You just got to know what you're doing. Once you figure that out, it's real easy. So this was the 14 RKB. It's the newest in the ROG Adventure trailer line. The very first one we built with a bathroom. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful trailer, ready for off-road adventures. We really appreciate you taking the time to take a look at this. Uh, we're really excited about some other products that we've got, and you'll see videos coming out on those as well. But thank you very much. Have a great day. Happy adventures.